Hello everybody, David here, and today I want to do my newest video for all the actors that returned in episode 4 of What If, titled What If the Earth Lost Its Mightiest Avengers. Uh, this was a really good episode, and as the previous three episodes have shown us, or two episodes, sorry, uh, we have seen a lot of actors uh, return, so I thought it would be fun to point out the ones that did return and the ones that didn't. Uh, so let us get right into it, starting with, of course, we have to talk about The Watcher once again, because The Watcher is going to be appearing in every episode, uh, voiced by Jeffrey right so uh, and he's doing a fantastic job will we ever get to see him in live action i guess we're gonna have to wait and see uh next up is tony stark iron man uh usually in the movies he's played by robert downey jr while in this show he's voiced by uh, mick wingert who uh has done the voice actually of the character in several uh, animated marvel uh, shows but this is the first one that was connected to the mcu and he does a great job at, at doing a sound alike of robert downey jr so he did he, it's no brainer why he was recruited into this show next up is natasha romanoff aka black widow in the film she's obviously played by scarlett johansson but in this show she was voiced by lake bell uh lake bell also does some work for the DC animated stuff. Uh, she actually currently does the voice of Poison Ivy in the Harley Quinn animated series. So there you go. Uh, Betty Ross was in this series, and in the movies she was portrayed by Liv Tyler, uh, or at least the MCU <laughs> movies. Uh, she only appeared in The Incredible Hulk. In this show, however, unfortunately, they got Stephanie Pencello. Uh, now, of course, I say unfortunately, not in a bad way, but because, uh, l let's face it, she, the voice did not sound like Liv Tyler at all, which is weird because I thought Lake Bell and Mick Winger both did a great job at their respective roles. It's just once you heard uh, Stephanie, it was like way off. Uh, next up, we got General Ross also appearing in this show. Uh, obviously... In the movies, he had been portrayed by William Hurt, who not only appeared in The Incredible Hulk with L Liv Tyler, uh, but he also made recent appearances in MCU movies, such as Captain America Civil War, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame, and the most current movie, uh, Black Widow. He came back in that movie. While he didn't come back for this show, <laughs> instead he was uh, replaced by Mike McDonald. Gill, uh, which was an interesting uh, change to me because I thought William Hurt would have returned because he was not so far off uh, on doing the films. Maybe he would have been okay with coming back and voicing himself, unless it was just such a brief cameo that he didn't think uh, it was worth it. So I don't know what the deal was there. Uh, along with the Incredible Hulk characters was, of course, Bruce Banner, the Hulk. Uh, in the film, in The Incredible Hulk, he was played by Edward Norton. Now, here's the interesting thing. Obviously, as we go on throughout the movies, the next Hulk appearance would have been The Avengers, which is where Mark Ruffalo takes place. Well, Mark Ruffalo, who wasn't in The Incredible Hulk, still got, got to finally do his voice in this scene, uh, in this show episode, with... Uh, a Betty Ross character, uh, which was the first time Mark Ruffalo's character or his version of the Hulk got to interact with Betty Ross. So in some essence, it was kind of cool knowing that. So uh, technically, they have an actor returning for their role, but not for the movie that they were in. But it doesn't matter because Mark Ruffalo is the Hulk since that first Avengers film uh, to portray the character. So uh, it just made sense although it would have been interesting if they did get edward norton back <laughs> to just for this episode uh just to keep continuity uh straight uh moving on carol danvers captain marvel made an appearance in this episode uh where in the movies she was voiced by brie larson in this episode she was voiced by alexandra daniels so uh obviously brie larson did not return will this be her only episode that she appears in maybe that's why maybe they didn't think it would be worth bringing her back for just a cameo 
But uh, so far, there's been a couple of actors that had small roles, but then some of them have had bigger roles in later episodes, uh, such as uh, this actor we're about to get to. Nick Fury obviously was in this episode, uh, and yes, once, a vo- once again voiced by Samuel Jackson. Obviously, Samuel Jackson also appeared in the first episode of What If So Far, so this is not his only episode. And that episode, he just had like two or three lines, I think. So really nice to have Samuel Jackson back. His his uh, role brought some gravitas to a lot of the scenes where Nick Fury was talking in. Uh, another actor that returned was uh, Hank Pym, uh, a.k.a. Uh, you know, the original Ant-Man. And yes, he was voiced by Michael Douglas, but instead of him being uh, the original Ant-Man, he is now Yellow Jacket, which Yellow Jacket was played by Corey Stahls in in the first Ant-Man movie. He was the villain, uh, but he was, uh, that was, (laughs) he wasn't Hank Pym. He was just, it was just the Yellow Jacket uh, villain persona that uh, he had, uh, the, the identity. Um, Agent Coulson also appeared in this episode, uh, play, and yes, he was once again, uh, played by Clark Gregg, who returned to voice the role, uh, which is great, because a- Agent Coulson is a great character, so whenever he shows up, the last time he showed up was in Captain Marvel, actually, Clark Gregg returned, uh, to the role in that one, and obviously he's played the show for, what, six seasons in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so... Or seven seasons, I believe. Uh, so Clark Gregg obviously loves being in this world. So it's always a welcome addition whenever he comes back. Uh, Brock Rumlow, a.k.a. Crossbones, although we didn't see him as Crossbones, was in this episode. And yes, he was voiced by Frank Grillo, who played the role in Captain America the Winter Soldier and Captain America Civil War. Uh, we then also got Clint Barton, Hawkeye, once again voiced by Jeremy Renner because he did appear in the first episode alongside Samuel Jackson once again uh, in the first episode. So no brainer getting him back. Obviously, he was already voicing the role. Um, so we might even hear him a couple more times. Who knows wherever Hawkeye might be. Uh, popping up in next uh next up is loki loki obviously he was voiced by tom hiddleston his voice was very recognizable as soon as i heard him and it shouldn't have been that hard to get him because he was just in the loki series just like a month ago so it it made sense that tom hiddleston uh, would return uh, to the role, as well as another Thor actor, uh, Lady Sif. Lady Sif was there, and she was voiced by Jamie Alexander, who we just also thought saw in a cameo role in Thor. I, I, or sorry, in Loki. <laughs> I'm getting my stuff mixed up here. But yes, yeah, she was in Loki. She had the cameo where Loki talked to her about, hey, I, I cut off your hair because of, because I'm an asshole, <laughs> or something like that. Uh, but um, yeah, Thor was also in this episode. I just want to say this. And there was some grunts being from him. He didn't have any lines, but he did have grunts. I'm going to suspect that Chris Hemsworth did do those grunts because he did do some grunt work. <laughs> For the Loki series as well, when he was Frog Thor, you hear Frog Thor struggling a little bit, doing some grunts, and I have a feeling, uh, I have a feeling Chris Hemsworth did some uncredited grunt work in this episode. I I could be wrong, but I have a feeling because there was a moment where you hear him get shot with the arrow and he does do a little grunt. And it did sound a little bit like Chris Hemsworth. So I'm just putting that out there. Um, I can't confirm that. With that being said, that's all the actors that have appeared in this episode. So obviously, as you can see, it's a little bit more of a mixed bag this time around. Where the first two episodes, I did feel like a lot of actors did return to their roles in those first two. This one was the one that had the most mixed. It, It felt more like there was half of the actors that were not from the movies and then half of the actors that were from the films. Um, and I'll admit, other than uh, other than Liv Tyler, who did not return, and William Hurt, I felt all the other voice 
actors who did come in to replace the original cast uh, were all suited perfectly. I thought Mick Wingert and Lake Bell and um, Alexander uh, Alexandra uh, Daniels, I felt they all uh, did a really good job at replacing their counterparts. So with that being said, guys, that's all for this uh, episode. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I also want to plug in my Patreon supporters. These are the people that support this channel and uh, they don't they donate to a monthly subscription where they can do a five dollar tier or a ten dollar tier and then they get a credit at the end of each video um, the ten dollar one is just more for generosity if you can donate more and help me grow faster uh, that's what the ten dollar there one is for but the five dollar one is the one that i'm suspecting most people would help out with which so far is the one that <laughs> is the one that uh has the most so uh i thank my patreons you guys are awesome and uh uh hopefully we can get more people on board to help support this channel five dollars i don't think is a bad deal right you, you're getting an end credit and a personal thank you like right now from me so thank you very much to my patreon supporters you people are awesome and uh, yes, yeah, so there are other ways you can support the channel as well. Watching every video also helps and liking every video helps. So, you know, there's multiple ways. Uh, obviously, there's an algorithm and liking and watching videos and even sharing the videos to try to get more people to watch uh, helps. And talking with each other, uh, because starting conversations and such. Uh, that helps. We're all nerds, I hope, and we all want to geek out about this stuff. And uh, sometimes uh, videos like this can help bring awareness. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you thought it was Robert Downey Jr. doing the voice, and now I just let you know that nope, it wasn't. So, like the video, please support the channel. Um, I hope I'm doing a great job. And some people tell me I'm doing a good job. So hopefully that's sincere and honest. Uh, because if I'm not doing a good job, I want you guys to let me know and I want to try to improve on things. I know some people say I should add music to my videos, uh, but sometimes it's not easy to put that stuff together. But I'm trying. I'm, I'm looking at other opportunities and other things to help improve my channel. So <laughs> don't think just because it doesn't look like I'm improving, I'm not. Uh, I, I'm always looking at other things that I could add to my channel or my videos that could improve them. So with that being said, until next time, everybody, take care.